I mean, it's different. All right. All right. Um, hello, hello, everybody. Welcome. Uh, my name is Marnie Hernandez. I am recording this. Um, they emailed a test. Perfect. Thank you, Drexel. So um, my name is Marnie Hernandez. This is Certificate Workshop. And um, this is just something that we do. I do it now three, four times a week where we learn about different destinations, different programs, different um, uh, vendors, okay? Uh, it's just something that we do together. It's a lot of fun. We have fun with it. Um, you get to know other agents. You also get to um, experience, um, don't see where it says to register. Okay, so let's go in and um, I am recording this. I do record these. So. Just so you guys know, here on our incentive voucher group, okay, hopefully you guys are all part of that, uh, we put out this certificate workshop um, training um, calendar the beginning of each month, okay? As you see, we put the links in here, so try to get in, pre-register if you can. Uh, but Sandy is amazing, and in under our incentive voucher group under feature, she has put the actual clickable links in here. So right here, it's Visit Iceland Academy. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that for you. Oops, copy. In case you're new um, or don't know, go ahead and click on there. That'll take you here. Now let's take a quick look here and see what we see here. Ba, 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 about Iceland. So, um, did you guys get registered? Does it offer to register? Is it possible to have the form to be sent to me along with the list of vouchers that you offer? Um, yeah, Jeffrey, remind me to do that. Um, I have to leave my friend's house after the training. We have to get to the post office and then we have to. So Jeffrey, send me a message on Messenger or um telegram and i will get those links to you and and i don't know you got to figure out why you're not getting access to that group that's kind of weird um do we have to register what? well that's what we're looking at um oh, I, looking at, okay, sorry yeah that's okay i don't know if we have to here's iceland academy let's go into here so that's where we want to go um, go ahead for the me Moni, uh, yeah, I've been in touch with Susan. She doesn't, she still doesn't know what's going on with it. I've done everything that she's asked and I've updated Facebook again and it's still, these two buttons will not show up. Yeah, yeah, so we'll work on that. Um, let's leave that for later. Um, I'll try okay. to help you either tonight or tomorrow on that. Um, okay, that sounds good. You're, and then just so you guys know, I will be moving to our home Okay, we're going to be camping and living in an RV for three months, but we get to finally get settled Sunday. So next week we'll be, you know, in our home. I'll have my computers all set up and I'll be back to normal, hopefully somewhat normal, right? Um, so anyway, um, here we are. Enroll in the academy, okay? Um, it says for um, what to wear, um, for a safe, happy trip. Okay, so... I think this is where we are to be, okay? And then again, I, I was kind of thumbing through it, but I just saw videos, okay? So again, guys, um, I'm new to this too. We just pull up these different ones, try to get, you know, um, learn together, okay? So um, right here, oops, let's see what Stephanie put in here. Do, 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 do. Okay, there, Stephanie put the link in there. Perfect, thank you, Stephanie. Oh. All right. So go ahead and um, fill this out. Again, you really only have to fill out mainly, you know, the ones with asterisks, okay? You guys see that? First name, last name, company. Go ahead and put Archer Travel. Again, you want to make sure you're part of Archer Travel. Job title, I would put um, do, 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 probably sales. Sales manager, trade representative, maybe. Um, hold on, let me get up here. Do, 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 select all, copy. Also, if you guys can watch the chat for me, um, again, you know, this is a group effort. So we all try to help each other, okay? Uh, company type, we are a travel agency. Again, it's Archer Travel. 
Um, you'll put in their company website. Um, this you put Archer Travel. Do, 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 do. That would be 29. So here, this is Archer Travel. All right. If I can type. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, what's the job title you said? I'm sorry. Um, I would probably say something like sales or something. Let me find that. Sales Where is manager? it? Okay. Yeah. Again, it's just, we can always update it later. Do you anticipate attending any organized, um, any events? I'd like to. So, <laughs> all right. No worries, Drexel. Again, um, you always, always, always want to be affiliated with Archer Travel, though, because again, um, but you want to put your um, address for um, like right up here um, for mailing stuff, okay? Because if they mail you anything, so yeah, you should probably put your address instead of Archer Travels. Because, okay, the way it works, guys, we are independent contractors, okay? Uh, we're not employees of Archer Travel, okay? So you're not going to say you're employed by Archer Travel. No, we're independent contractors. But we are associated with Archer Travel, okay? So um, you want to, you know, be affiliated with them. Of course, when it asks for an IATA number, you always want to put that, okay? Um, mm -hmm. But I would put your address um, because a lot of these companies will mail you promotional material. Sometimes you win prizes and stuff. You want to go into you, not Archer Travel, right? Um, I just put the link in there. Um, hopefully you guys got it. So again, um, get in there and register. Email, I would put, um, I'd put your email. Okay, describe your company. Are you working in tourism? Again, this isn't going to approve you or not approve you, okay? It's just they're trying to get, find out who's out there, what who, what are people doing, what do they want, why are they looking at Iceland, stuff like that, okay? Um, job title, main market, additional market. Again, additional market that is optional. As you see, there's no asterisk. Yeah, put your email, your website, okay? Again, if you put your information, that's fine. Um, just get in and get registered, okay? And then once you enroll, am I, is it showing my name up here? I don't know. Let me look here to Iceland. All right, and again, um, in these uh, trainings and stuff, I am recording them, okay? I will show you where you can find them. Let me see if it pulls up. Friday's trainings. So I thought I registered when we were um, when I was setting these up. So also whenever you know, as you see, I get tons and tons of um, promotional emails and stuff. Get in and attend any of these you know webinars and stuff because again they give away prizes, gifts, um, trips, etc. Okay, guys. So that's also why we do these because you know you want to learn, but you also want to get those um, gifts, right? All right. So whoever has registered, um, where are you at? Um, does it give you like a a training or are you like on this page here where we're at Iceland Academy? Let me know where you guys are at when you get in and register. It takes when me right I, back. When I registered, it just um, took me to like uh, something that said in Ice Icelandic <laughs> on the top. So I figured it says you're registered. Okay. It's uh, weird. Yeah. Yeah. And again, guys, some of them are very user friendly and some of them are like, ah, you know. Um, it says this. I guess that means I'm registered. Okay. Yeah, you're you're registered. It's going to email you the uh, test after that. Awesome. Perfect. Okay. So is this what you have now here? The videos or no? Yes. Yeah, we have Perfect. It. Okay. All right. So as you guys, um, if you know, uh, the agents that have been on before, and then any new agents. Um, I will usually read, there's videos that we'll watch. Again, it's a learning process. Um, you know, we want to learn what, you know, what do they have available there in Iceland? Why, why should we sell Iceland? You know, what is there to do in Iceland? 
Um, a lot of agents will create um, binders or folders on their laptop or desktop, you know, to save the information. You know, you focus in on families, you're focusing on single travelers, you're focusing on LGBTQ, you know, whatever you're focusing on, um, pull that information. And then that way you can go in once you get these. A lot of times I tell people, you know, grab this picture, grab this itinerary, you know, and then once we're done, go out there and say, guys, I just learned so much about Iceland. It's an amazing place to visit, da, 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 okay? So again, guys, it's a, it's a learning process for all of us. We're, we're learning about um, Iceland today. Tomorrow, we're doing Peru. So again, up here in this um, program, uh, Peru is right here. This one, let me just show you really quick. This one's easy. This one, you sh if you've done a training with us before, OTT, you're already pre-registered. You just find Peru, okay? Um, if you haven't pre-registered, uh, we have this um, spreadsheet that Sandy does for us. It's right up here, right here. And I'll put this in the chat, all the training programs. Okay, so as I said, when we do these programs, they do have tests and, and a lot of them, you know, where we get the certificates, okay? Some of the other ones, yeah, we, we just um, get the knowledge, okay? Um, but I'll put this in here. Uh, and you can do these all on your own if you like, but we've done all these like Alaska, we've done Antigua, we're doing Argentina, we're di we did our Arizona. I do put them on my YouTube channel, okay? So these ones in yellow are ones we're doing this month. And um, definitely ones that I recommend get in and do. Princess, Canard, get your free cruises. Disney, get your free Disney passes. Um, Marriott, get those fantastic rates. Universal Studios, free tickets to Orlando. And then um, Margaritaville at Sea, that's a two-night cruise out of Fort Lauderdale. You can get in there and um, get a go on a seminar at Sea. I'm doing one maybe in October. So um, definitely, again, all the videos are right here. And then, of course, my YouTube channel um, is right here that I do post them to, okay? So just wanted to share if for any reason you guys need to jump off and um, or you want to see, you know, what's available, what's already out there. They're right here. All the videos, oops, all the videos are right here. I also have the presentation recorded if you want to share the business. This is that Margaritaville at sea. Um, I also do the accountability and the um, new agent orientation and incentive vouchers. So um, definitely check those out. I will be doing the training on the incentive voucher group um, Thursday, next Thursday, okay? So hopefully you guys can join me for that. All right, so let's go ahead and get started again. Welcome, welcome. Um, I'm going to just start reading. We'll go through a few of these videos and stuff and just jump around, I guess, um, unless somebody finds something different than what I see, okay? Let us know. Um, how to join the incentive voucher group. Okay, so right up here is the link. I'll share that with you. Make sure you answer the questions, okay? Um, can you guys see me? My It says the connection was just restored. That's the incentive voucher group. Go in, you have to answer the questions and then we will approve you. These are great ways to... Um, to promote your business, okay? So just wanted to share that. And again, we'll do that training. But if you go to guides, it does have my training in there. It has how to fill out an, an order, a voucher for your clients, what the, the vouchers are, terms and conditions, et cetera, okay? All right, Takesha, um, when you go into here, let me know if this pulls up for you. This is where we're at. See if it allows you in here. Look at my Gatorade. All right. And again, if not, you can just listen. Um, again, we're going to just learn about Iceland, okay? All right. Yes, I'm here. Perfect. Okay, so welcome to the to Iceland Academy. 
wrap up warm, prepare yourself for a magical time in Iceland with our classes. We will teach you most essential things you need to know before visiting Iceland. What to wear, how to drive, how to take the perfect selfie. It is all here. For a safe and happy trip to Iceland, make sure you finish all available courses, get comfy, choose from one of our exciting classes below. All right, how to drive in Iceland, responsible traveling in Iceland, avoid hot tub awkwardness, guide to selfies, pack warm, etc. So we'll start with the first one. Let's watch the video. Hello, my name is Jonas. Welcome to Iceland Academy. In today's class, I'm going to be showing you how to drive in Iceland. Always fasten your seat belt, even in the back seat. <laughs> when you are driving, it's important to be aware of the road surface. Look out for the signs that tell you when the road is about to change from tarmac to gravel. If you don't slow down, you can easily lose control of the car. Okay, let's try that again. Ah, that's much better. Always stay on the roads. Driving off-road can damage nature and can leave marks for decades. It's also illegal and carry fines up to 3,500 euros. You would not drive off-road, would you? <laughs> no, no. When approaching a one-lane bridge, remember to be courteous to other drivers. We know our nature is beautiful, but please find a safe place to park before getting out to take a picture, and not the side of the road. A road closed sign means that, well, actually, <laughs> I'm going to let you make the call on this one, Donald. Follow these tips and you're sure to have a very nice trip here in Iceland. Keep digging, Donald! <laughs> All right, fun little things, okay? So, All right, if you're just joining us, we are in Iceland. Uh, you can go ahead and register. I put the link in there. Also, please, um, when you uh, put a chat in, Put it to everyone because I'll be going I've through been getting the paid training on this. $1,000 a month, if not more, that. just from this app on my phone. There we go. All right. So we watched the first video. Okay. Now we're going to go to responsible traveling in Iceland. Okay. All right. And again, um, just right now, just listen. I don't know if there's an actual test. They said something that the test will be emailed to you once you get registered. OK, so you can listen and then finish the, the registration later as long as you can get in here. OK. All right. Here's another video. These are kind of Hi, I'm Stina. Welcome to Iceland Academy. In today's class, we're going to be talking about responsible traveling in Iceland. You see, our volcanoes, geothermal areas, and lava Amanda, fields, they may look super already? tough, the but they are actually quite vulnerable. So, just as you would so never break a piece of email. coral from the Great Barrier Reef, there are a number of things you shouldn't do to Icelandic nature. Number one, no walking or jumping on the moss. I know it may look nice and springy, but it actually takes decades to grow back. So please keep your bouncy bouncy to your comfortable hotel beds. Number two, always use official campsites. We've got over 200 of them here in Iceland. Number three, don't drive off road and keep to the paths. They're there to protect nature and you. And finally, number four, don't make cairns. These piles of stones have been here for centuries and they help mark the land so walkers don't get lost. Remember, look after Mother Nature and she will look after you. What was that? Oh yeah, she says don't forget to bring an extra pair of thermals. No worries, Tiffany, we're just getting started. Let me see what this says. All right, 
So that was our second video. So people are saying they got um, the test. So is it coming to you on email? And is it right after you registered or how did you get the test, the exam? For those of you that got the exam, where did you get it? Marnie, it goes to the email that you use when you registered. Okay, and it, and it came right after? Yeah, it came a little bit after it. it the same day, it, it's not going, it, it just takes a little bit, but it, it'll- what, what does it, what, what's the, the it's link? It's headed as promote Iceland, and it'll say Iceland Specialist Park, uh, let's see. Iceland, Iceland Specialist Park, Part one. Yeah, part one. Give it a minute, guys. I promise it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it took a little bit to come in, like 10 minutes. <laughs> so while y'all are listening to that, I'm going through this package too, Marnie, on this side. So I'll okay. let you know before I get. Yeah, because I don't know. Um, I don't see that I'm getting it. Check your spam. For either your promotions, but it, it came okay. directly to my inbox. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, I'll go into my phone and see. Okay. In the meantime, we'll watch another video. Okay. This one is da, 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 avoiding hot tub awkwardness. Sharing a hot tub in Iceland is one of the life's little pleasures. In this class, we'll teach you the ins and outs of this most treasured Icelandic customs okay and these i'm sorry i didn't read these so iceland's one of the most awe inspiring places on earth we'll show you how to respect and be harmony be in harmony with mother nature so you can feel at home so we saw that and then of course the roads stay safe on the roads when you head out and explore the beautiful country more information on road safety we watched that okay so now we're going to learn about the hot tubs Hello, my name is Guðmundur. Welcome to Iceland Academy. In today's class, we'll be talking about one of our favorite activities. Hot tubbing. Oh my God. What the we take hygiene <laughs> very seriously. And everyone is required to take a shower before wow, entering the pool area. So, remember the little rhyme? Heads, armpits, crotch and toes. Crotch and toes. Heads, armpits, crotch and toes. Crotch and toes, head, armpits, crotch and toes. There we have it, squeaky clean. Now, on with the butter. Hot tubs are very important to the Icelandic people. In here, we are all equal and no topic is off limits. So come to Iceland where you feel nice, warm and relaxed. Wow. Okay, again, for you new agents, I uh, apologize. That's not typical for our trainings. <laughs> All right, how about a guide to taking uh, selfies? Selfies can be dangerous when you're focusing on your pout and not the volcanic hot spring about to cover you in boiling water. Let us help you get the perfect selfie, not a nasty injury. Um, before I show this, I don't know if you heard, we were just listening to the news. Yellowstone, we were just in Yellowstone. They found a, a shoe, a foot or whatever in one of the hot springs there. Um, kind of scary, huh? So they're doing an investigation. So yeah, please be very careful. All right. All right. How to take a selfie in Iceland. Hi, I'm Stina. Welcome to Iceland Academy. In today's class, I'll be showing you how to practice safe selfies. You see, even though Iceland has a scenery to die for, it doesn't actually mean that you need to die for it. We all love a good selfie, and some go to great lengths to capture them. But please don't take any risks by going out on slippery ledges. I can assure you, you will still get lots of likes. I know you want to look hot in a selfie, but some hot springs and geysers can be over a hundred degrees Celsius, so please admire from a distance. <laughs> some beaches in Iceland are known for their unpredictable waves and strong current. So one minute you are Cara de la Vigne, and the next you are Sarah Never Seen. 
So please watch out not being too close to the water. It's really easy to take amazing selfies here in Iceland. You don't even need a filter. So please don't take any risks. Follow local information, obey the signs, and stay safe. Ah, already got over 100 likes. <laughs>
ice SAR. Here in Iceland, the ice SAR, Icelandic Association for Search and Rescue Teams, consisted of thousands of volunteers and specialists help inhabitants, as well as travelers who get into dangerous situations on land and sea. To avoid these situations beforehand, follow safe travel guidelines. In case of an emergency call, always call 112, 112 in Iceland, clean and safe. We hope that you feel safe and secure during your stay in Iceland. Clean and safe Island, Iceland is a, a, a self-assessment checklist for tourism enterprises. Once the companies have fulfilled the requirements, they receive the clean and safe stamp. The display of the stamp is a promise or declaration to their customers that all official regulations and instructions concerning cleaning, disinfecting are being followed and that employees have received special instructions and training regarding this. Driving in Iceland. So you have snowy and icy roads can be a challenge to drive on. Driving in Iceland is very different from anywhere else because of gravel, snowy and icy roads as well as many mountain passages. But one also gets so easily distracted by the stunning landscape. Therefore, it's important, pay special attention to the road surface, the weather and the traffic. The latter can sometimes even include animals, especially sheep. You can find everything you need to know about driving in Iceland here. It is vital for you and the sensitive nature and vegetation around you to stay on the marked path. Step into the great outdoors, leave a travel plan. Iceland is the country for outdoor activities like hiking, climbing, diving, or horseback riding. In case you plan a longer outdoor trip outside a tour group, leave a travel plan with safe travel. Make sure you're properly dressed and equipped for the trip. How not to do it. It is vital for you and the sensitive nature and vegetation around you to stay on the marked path. Rick. Rick, can you turn the jacuzzi down to 100? Please, I forgot. Sorry, thank you. Sorry, guys. Um, the site's not everything for a good photo, okay? This not everything is for a good photo, so be careful. Follow the instructions that are given to you by warning signs and respect uh, rails and fences because they are there for a reason. Okay. People standing behind a fence in front of the waterfall on snowy ground. Okay. Um, some risks might not be visible at first and might also be dismissed by people around you, but strong undercurrents at beaches, slippery stones at cliffs and waterfalls or unstable ground at hot springs can turn into life threatening hazards. You have the Rhinus Frajara Black Sand Beach, okay? Again, you can click here if you want more details on that specific place, all right? See here, beautiful, beautiful, okay? So again, if you have a client that's wanting to go there, now you know where to find that information. All right, um, on the South Coast is one of the most dangerous places in Iceland and regularly claims the lives of visitors. Here, you can find out about the dangers of the Rhinosphragia and how to stay safe there. The same advice applies to, and you have this beach and then this one on the South Coast. And I'm not even gonna try to pronounce these, so I, I apologize, guys. Um, if you guys wanna take a chance, go for it. All right, what to wear in Iceland? So as I talked about earlier, um, one of the most asked questions and big safety issue can be answered. Layers, layers, layers. Whether in the summer or in the winter, to make sure you never get cold, Safe Travel has put together a dressing guide as well as packing lists for specific activities. Also check out the video below. Again, um, the guide here. Um, recommendations, et cetera. Okay. All right. We watched that video already, right? How to stay warm. Also see other videos from Iceland Academy. Okay. We did that. All right. You might also be interested in, okay. So let's see, see all articles. We're going to go here. All right. So geothermal wellness in Iceland. So they have um, 11 resorts highlighting 10 versions of Iceland's geothermal abundance 
taking a hot bath will never be the same. Um, let's see, experiences. So here, bathe in style to guide the 12 hot resorts along the Ring Road. For the past year, developers across the country have been stepping up to the variety um, of leisure baths with their amenities and stunning views. Look at that. So again, guys, you take a picture of this, use that for one of your promotions, right? Um, warm or chilly, bright or dark, uh, gray or blue, any day is good for a warm outdoor bath. That at least is the local consensus. Islanders, um, Icelanders love soaking in hot water. And for the past year, developers across the country have been um, stepping up with a variety of leisure baths with more amenities and stunning views. You have the softness of silica, the blue lagoon in incredibly um, charming in winter. The most prominent uh, tourist uh, destination in Iceland situated in Lava Field, not far from the airport, is in fact a happy accident. The superheated water flows from underground and is used to run the turbines of a nearby geothermal power plant. An employee discovered the healing nature of the waters and the Blue Lagoon was born. The water is now redirected into pools where bathers can enjoy the pure mineral rich bass. Silica gives the water its milky blue green color, which eventually precipitates as white mud on the lagoon's floor. Studies have shown that the lagoon's white silica rich mud helps skin conditions, including psoriasis. There is now a wellness clinic and a spa attached to the lagoon. Kind of cool, right? Okay, visit the Blue Lagoon. Again, now you pull this up and it gives you all the information then on the Blue Lagoon, okay? So, um, a day visit here, the Blue Lagoon, the retreat, accommodations. So definitely make sure you guys check all that out. Uh, swim in Icelandic history. Sky Lagoon opened in 2021 and is in uh, Kopavorgar in the Rajavak uh, capital area. Sky Lagoon draws inspiration from Icelandic heritage. Visitors can experience the warmth of a turf house and cold plunge pool made from hewn stones. The gray, blue, and deep green design reflect the surrounding landscape. Sky Lagoon guides uh, help visitors make the most of the spa experience from the lagoon to the cold plunge, the sauna to the cold mist space. The 75 meter infinity pool offers a view across Foxa Bay toward the president's residence at Basachur. You can order drinks at the in pool bar if you don't wanna leave the warm water and the stunning view behind. So again, look at that guys. Okay, again, there's a link if you want to get more information on that one. You have the green ferns and clear water um, in West Island. Okay, the waters of Krama are drawn from Europe's most powerful hot spring, Dal uh, <laughs> Extremely high flow rate of the water means that absolutely no chemicals are needed for the water as the six pools are constantly replenished. Krama is smaller than some of the other spas on this list, which means it tends to be more peaceful and is about 100 kilometers, 62 miles from Rajavik. All right, and then this spring is also special for being the only place in the world where the Icelandic, Icelandic fern grows. And as the waters of the geothermal baths are also used, to heat nearby greenhouses, you can find fresh fruit tomatoes at spots nearby. Hot spring by whale Fjord, okay? Um, it's located here, makes for a fabulous day trip from the capital. The Fjord's winding roads are scenic and quiet. The area known for Iceland's second tallest waterfall, and as of 2022, there is a good reason to bring your swim bathing suits, okay? Um, the hot springs merge with the shoreline as if the eight multi-temperature baths were a natural construct, construct. Water levels and temperatures in some of the baths fluctuate with the tide. Swimming in the sea is part of the fun, if not the therapy. The place is popular among Wim Hof enthusiasts with occasional workshops. Attached 
to the stunning property is a restaurant and a boutique hotel. All right, so that's kind of cool, right? Then you have the surprise lagoon in the forest, uh, North Iceland. When life gives you hot water, you make a spa out of it while digging the long and unpronounceable the blah, 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 tunnel. <laughs> in 2014, uh, workers accidentally discovered a new geothermal hot water source deep in the mountains. The road authority, authorities di diverted the hot waters and used them not far away in a gorgeous place on the side of the mountain overlooking the town of Akurera and Jafajord. The Forest Lagoon has Scandinavian charm with a cold bath and a sauna attached to the main leisure bath. Alongside the 2022 construction, several walking paths through the surrounding forest were made, adding to the attraction. So you want to visit the Forest Lagoon, make sure you find out the information there. Swim under the northern lights. Who doesn't want to see the northern lights? I definitely do. Um, nature baths are located close to fragile beauty of Lake Mavanta Nature Reserve, sometimes referred to as the Blue Lagoon of the North. Um, it's situated near the volcanic Lake Mavanta, along with the main pool. The spa offers a hot tub, steam room, plunge pool. The alkaline waters are rich in minerals and inhibit uh, bacteria and vegetation, leaving the waters bright blue and clear. In fact, these waters are so rich in sulfur that it is recommended that you remove brass jewelry before you take the plunge. The steam bath windows allow guests to look over the landscape, part of a des de designated nature reserve. Soak on a summer day or catch a view of the northern lights from September through April. Anybody here see the northern lights? Definitely on my uh, bucket list. You guys want to see whale watching from the cliffs in North Iceland. Um, up north in the town of Hisavik, the GOC pools began with an old cheese barrel. Locals carted it up the mountain and used it to bathe in the warm seawater. Now there are more than a barrel with pools that offer a cliffside view of Skafandi Bay, a popular place for whale watching. Uh, you might catch a glimpse of a humpback whale surfacing below and the icy Canarfil Mountains in the distance. The waters of GOC are distinctive in that they are hot water, hot seawater rather than a mix of seawater and freshwater. The design blend into the mountainside while the buildings are made of polished black lava rock and gray slate. You have the floating bass. Um, in the beautiful lake um, in East Island, these picturesque bass are actually located right on the dark waters of Lake Yerevanton in East Iceland. The springs that feed them were first discovered by locals from a nearby town of Egilstor, who noticed that certain patches of water did not freeze over in the wintertime. At first, neighbors expected some kind of bottom dwelling lake monster, but thankfully it turned out to be just underwater hot springs. The bass are named after these mysterious patches. Volk is the Icelandic word in hole in the ice. The floating pools shaped like the ice-free patches themselves float on the lake's surface. Bread baked by the earth's heat, okay? Uh, South Iceland. Um, Love Gavantin Fontana is an invigorating and historical bathing site where you can enjoy the healing powers of geothermal water, soak in natural pools, and lis listen to the bubbling hot springs in the stream um, steam rooms. For the venturesome, take a cooling dip in the refreshing lake, the warm pools, and the hot pots vary in depth size and temperature, just like the three traditional steam rooms. Series of interconnected bath steam rooms built directly over the boiling springs. After your visit, be sure to check out the thermo, geothermal bakery where they bake delicious rye bread following an old recipe in the steamy geothermally heated ground. There are daily tours where you can hear an explanation of the process of and watch as they dig up a fresh loaf of bread from the hot black sand Try a hot slice with some Icelandic um, butter and smoked trout for a truly unique spa snack. All right. So, again, great ideas for your clients, for um, 
you know, the hot springs, lots of lots of places for them to visit, right? The secret lagoon, also referred to as Gamla Loglin, uh, just off of the famous golden circle in the village of Fluor. The secret lagoon is the oldest swimming pool in Iceland, dating back to 1891. This has earned it the nick local nickname Gamla Logan, Icelandic for old pool. The pool is less developed and has fewer facilities than other spots like the Blue Lagoon. So it's a perfect retreat for those seeking a more pared down experience. From the pool, watch a small nearby geyser erupt, um, which erupts every five minutes, or take a stroll along the path by the pool to explore the rolling landscape strewn with jets of stream. And then Canyon Bass, which is on the edge of the highlands, known for lava caves, caves forested areas and being close to the glaciers. Husafil is a popular getaway um, bordering the highland region in the west with the opening of the Canyon Bass. The destination arguably has it all. The two man-made stone pools are more exclusive than any other germal, ge geothermal bath. Guests are limited to 16 and must travel with a guide down a short walking path into the remote canyon. Over the summer, there are four scheduled departures. Uh, in construction and style, the bass draw inspiration from nearby Snorralag, a heritage site pool dating back to the 13th century when poet turned polit politician Snorri Sturluson ruled Western Iceland. Take a dip in the pools while listening to the river Close your eyes and imagine the good life of being a medieval legend. All right. And the last one is cheers for the beer spa in North Iceland. There are not many beer spas in the world, but you will find one in rural North Iceland. The local brewery, Brugsamajan, has brought beer culture to the new heights of relaxation. Uh, Icelandic for beer spa, the first of its kind in Iceland. The combination of beer, hops, yeast is said to be rejuvenating for the body and the spirit. A session at the beer spa includes 25 minutes cedar wood tub beer soak, followed by 25 minute session in the relaxation room. The outside area has incredible views over Horaisi Island, the mountains and the valley. The on-site restaurant also offers variety of meals and beer-inspired food. All right, so view all the um, the pools here. So again, let's see, let's see if this pulls up. So here it is, the beer spa. Okay, and then you have all the other ones that you can check out. All right, how about diving and snorkeling or hiking? Which one you want to do? Hiking, let's try hiking. Hiking with the towel, seven natural baths to soak in. Okay, so let's just take a quick look in the. All right, didn't say much about hiking, right? I was talking about the pools. to soak in. All right, let me see. Do we have any questions? Just got my test just came in. All right. <laughs> All right, uh, where do you guys wanna go from here? Let's see. Kinda takes you all over the place, huh? Let's go diving and snorkeling. All right, so Iceland is a geologic hotspot and famous for everything that's warm, volcanoes, hot springs, thick wool sweaters. It therefore seems far-fetched to pick this country for diving and snorkeling in cold oceans Doo -doo -doo. and lakes. But the ones who leave the bathtub warm waters of our comfortable swimming pools will be rewarded with a view of a magnificent underwater world so squeeze yourself into a dry suit and jump no driver's license no nope. no diver's license sorry no problem scuba diving and snorkeling snorkeling in iceland means exploring geologically unique sites and getting into the middle of a country that is still in the making local diving companies offer tours for certified scuba divers in different difficulty levels 
But also without a diver's license, you have the chance to explore Iceland's underwater world. A big selection of exciting trips for physically fit snorkelers is available with the most dive tour providers. Again, you can click here. It'll give you a list of all the providers if your customer wants to go snorkeling or scuba diving. For each part of the country offers exciting dives. A trip around Iceland can easily include visiting them all, but whether you are picking a one-day snorkel tour or a multi-day diving journey around Iceland, you'll be in for a treat. Between the tectonic plates, the Silfra Fisher in um, the National Park, without a doubt, Iceland's most famous diving site. It also is the only place in the world where you can dive between the North American and Eurasian tectonic plates. Year by year, those drift further apart and widen the ravine of about two centimeters. Snorkelers and divers praise the amazing underwater visibility in the lava filtered crystal clear water in Silfra. Other lava fissures that offers the clearest water and great visibility are, and then again, you can take pictures of these guys and, and recommend them to your diving clients, right? Diving hot spots. Okay, there though are um though our cold waters always require dry suit, there are some dive sites where you can see bubbling hot springs underwater. Um, the lake located in the geothermally uh, active peninsula is supplied by hot water springs that prevent it from freezing during winter. The shallow river of Litla, close to the Arctic Circle, even gets a comfortable 17 Celsius warm and mesmerizes snorkelers with its colorful sediments. For advanced divers, it's possible to visit the underwater white smoker Sranton that is close to Akaria and the only hydro um, thermal chimney in the world possibly to dive to on the demanding on this demanding dive you can see impressive staglomites formed by mineral deposits when hot water releases into the ice cold ocean okay so again let's take a quick look at these pictures the unusual dive sites, nothing short of spectacular. Ever wanting to dive in an active volcano? Well, now you can, makes it possible. Um, the second deepest lake in Iceland was created by a volcanic explosion in 1875. Many stories and myths are told about this area and NASA's moon landing team practiced in this otherworldly landscape. Diving there requires a long car trip into the heart of Iceland followed by a difficult hike with all the equipment. But the reward is a unique underwater experience with some surprises. Divers who want to stay close to shore can wreck dive in um, to the British oil tanker El Grillo, heavily damaged by a German airplane bombing in the February 1944. The wreck now lies on the bottom of the Fjord and is an adventurous diving site. Diving with puffins and whales. Oh, I love that. Join the puffin hunting for fish. Meeting the locals isn't only possible in swimming pools, diving and snorkeling with puffins, ox, humpback whales in um, Akuri and Grimsey Island make for an unforgettable encounter with the Icelandic fauna. All right. Thank you, Stephanie. Um, so again, take a picture of this. Let them know. You guys want to go snorkeling and diving with puffins and whales? I can help you with that. For divers and snorkelers that are more intrigued by the underwater flora, we recommend the garden on the peninsula where a large variety of marine algae and kelp forest can be explored. All right, so again, here's the different operators and stuff um, that you can find, sorry. All right, um, so you can check all these out, okay? All right, get inspired. How about kayaking? How about caving? Let's check out caving. Hi there. To withdraw your money, you go into your wallet and you hit withdraw, and then it will be put onto your Akimbo card. Sorry. All right, caving in Iceland. It may sound like a sci-fi novel, novel by Jules Verne, 
um, that you can travel inside the veins of a glacier and go down a crater vent of a volcano to visit a magma, magma chamber. But in Iceland, it is actual reality. The unique, so again, guys, take a, you know, hey, guys, have you ever thought of, you know, going down a crater of a volcano? I can help you with that, you know. Um, the unique geological setting of the island makes some awe-inspiring rock and ice formations waiting to be explored. So why is Iceland the ideal place for cave exploration? Due to Iceland's position on the North Atlantic Ridge, it is one of the most active volcanic regions globally. The island is like a big cake formed from layers on top of layers of basalt lava, the perfect material for making lava tube caves that can be safely explored year round. The northerly position of the globe adds the icing on the cake, literally because the wet bottom glaciers in Iceland also produce some extraordinary ice caves available for exploring seasonally. You have the lava caves. Wow, look at that. Lava caves, um, frozen moments in time. Lava tube caves are formed by rivers of basalt lava flowing in confined channels and tunnels. Lava tube, tube caves are formed by rivers of basaltic lava flowing from the volcanic crater. When the 1000 C hot mega, magma comes to the surface, then it's called lava. It starts cooling very quickly and freeze. Um, the lava flow confines in river channels and leaves forms of the river banks, deepening the channel. If the flow is slow and steady for a while, a crust forms on top and the flow continues in tunnels and tube systems below. When the lava flow stops, a lava tube is formed um, if the tunnel empties and the roof holds. The lava rivers are usually fed from magma storage chambers inside the craters, which are sometimes preserved after the eruption stops, leaving behind a colorful world of dissect, dissected feeding dikes and steam altercations. You have nature's stunning sculptures, okay? Um, the lava flow can leave behind stunning formations inside the caves, shark tooth and splash stagglostites, flow lines, ledges and lava falls while cooling tubular stalactites, sorry, um, and stagglomites are created from leftover magma that gas pressure squeezes out of small cavities, somewhat like toothpaste from a tube. In addition, ice stagglomites um, often form near the cave entrances during the winter, giving them extra decor. Lava tube caves are natural treasures with delicate lava sculptures that often are hollow on the inside with only a thin shell that can be easily damaged. Lava caves and their formations are protected by nature cons conservation law, and it is strictly forbidden to break anything. We want to make sure future generations will also be able to enjoy and study them. Please help us with that. And then how to behave in a cave and what equipment do I need? A visit to the lava cave is extraordinary experience, but can be dangerous without professional knowledge and the right equipment. Going with an experienced guide is therefore strongly recommended, okay? Thank you, Christine. All right, some lava caves are accessible to the public, such as this one and that one, but the most stunning and decorated ones are usually closed to the public for conservation purposes and safety reasons and can only be assessed throughout um, through guided tours. So here's some safety tips when lava caving, okay? Um, if you plan to visit a cave on your own, make sure you have the right equipment. Tell someone about your travel plan and never go alone in a cave. Uh, standard necessary safety equipment is a helmet and flashlight provided with the guided tours. Usually no cell phone reception in the cave, so you can't rely on calling for help. Temperature in the caves is 32 to 38 degrees year round, so warm clothing is necessary. Water is often dripping from the ceiling of the cave, so a waterproof jacket is recommended. The floor can be rugged and icy, sturdy boots are necessary, and ice cleats. Again, guys, you could copy this and, and again, get out there and get a niche market, right, of, of, of um, hikers and stuff like that, adventures. 
Um, be careful of loose rocks that may fall. So check what is above you before going further. And then lava tube caves are protected by law. Don't break or take anything or leave litter. Be careful what you touch since many rock formations are extremely difficult. Guided lava tours are offered year round. You can find uh, several options for guided lava tours in Iceland. Cave guides are usually geolog geol geologists or experienced naturalists that bring extra insight as well as following strict um, safety rules. All guided tours include essential safety equipment such as helmet and flashlight. The temperature in the caves is one to five Celsius year round. So warm clothing is necessary and sturdy shoes are recommended. Each of the caves has its own character and charm, but most are surprisingly large in volume. Many of them have equipped with staircases and walkways for safe exploring, making it a perfect family activity, guys. Family activity. Tour duration is between one to five hours, sometimes with some hiking involved to get to the cave. So make sure you read the tour description to see if it suits your fitness level. All right, and then here's the different caves that you can go to. All right, and then tours that you can get set up, okay? Fully licensed travel agency. So, so these are different ones that do their own tours, okay? Whale watching, Iceland. All right, flights. Do you guys wanna look at accommodations? More things to do? What do you guys wanna do? Do you wanna end it? Where you guys want to go? Accommodations. Let's check that out. Let's see what they have to offer. All right. So in Iceland, the option for accommodations, and then we'll check. Okay. Um, are as versatile as the country's landscape. Do you want to camp in the mid midnight sun, enjoy nature on a holiday farm, or relax in a hot tub um, of a cozy bed and breakfast under the northern lights? From the chic, bo chic boutique hotels and secluded co cottages to dazzling downtown apartments, easy going hostels, here you can find suitable accommodations for every taste and budget, okay? So again, depending on the region, remember whenever you're do using our vendors and stuff, guys, use these filters, okay? Because you can filter down exactly what your client wants, right? All right, so again, here's different regions, type of accommodations, you want camping, you want bed and breakfast. And then here's all the different, the retreat at Blue Lagoon, okay, built into the volcanic, let's just take a quick look at this one. So built into the volcanic frontier of the encircled Blue Lagoon, mineral rich uh, waters, the suites at the retreat, open the door to unparalleled hospitality. Floor to ceiling windows revealing a world of enchantment. Terraces, terraces surrounded by the radiant geothermal waters. Balconies providing unforgettable perspectives of volcanic horizon. Included with the accommodation experience is full access to the retreat spa, the Blue Lagoon, the ritual, the retreat lagoon, and the Blue Lagoon. Okay, so that's one. Again, here, you can click here. You can probably find these in our vendors also, okay? So uh, definitely a lot, 105. So they've got uh, lots and lots of opportunity for um, your client, okay? Again, has anybody stayed in a hostel? My niece traveled the world like that. Um, they're pretty good if you're flexible, want to share your bathroom and stuff. All right. I found my quiz in the promotion part of my email. Yay. All right. Got to go. Great job. All right. Thanks, guys. Okay. Let's look at whales. Let's go back. Um, whale watch. Let's take a quick look at that. So Iceland is the perfect location for whale watching. Cold waters off the coast play host to diverse marine life during the summer months in particular. Okay. Okay. Um, the shores become a veritable feeding ground for multiple species of large marine mammals, giving visitors a chance to observe these magnificent creatures in their nature, natural habitat. Few places in the world offer opportunities for whale watching comparable to those of the Icelandic coastline. Whale watching excursions are available widely around the country. Daily tours depart from Old Harbor in uh, Reykjavik, as well as uh, from several towns in the west and north of Iceland. 
Uh, they have some ways pioneered in whale watching domestically and even internationally, but all whale watching tour operators follow strict codes of conduct in terms of respecting the animals. Whale watching excursions are available widely around the country. The tours offer rare opportunity to observe um, whales in their natural environment. No matter where you depart, the most commonly spotted cetacea include humpback whales, mink whales, orcas, fin whales, sperm whales, and even the largest animal on the planet, the blue whale. Alongside the large whales, white-beaked dolphins, harbor porpoises, and seals are commonly seen and occasionally basking sharks. Additionally, a boat tour offers an excellent opportunity to watch seabirds in their feeding grounds, including puffins, gonnets, gulls, and arctic tern, all depending on the season. The optimal time for whale watching, pay attention, best time in Iceland is April until September, when many of the species are frequently spotted. While whale watching tours are less frequent in the winter months, they do come um, with a bonus of beautiful and stark scenery, snow-capped mountains, sunsets, and possibly even a chance to see the northern lights. Okay. All right. So special tours, you can find them here. Okay. Um, Let's look at flights. How do we get there? How do we get to Iceland? So a number of international airlines maintain regular scheduled flights to Iceland from both Europe and North America. Find a list of all airlines offering flights to Iceland here. So where are you traveling from? Okay, United Kingdom, North America. So let's just show here. So with North America, you have Air Canada, Delta, Iceland Air, uh, play and United. Okay, so now you know which ones service um, Iceland. All right. What if you're coming from United Kingdom, British Airways, EasyJet? They have a few more. All right. So why is Iceland a top destination for 2020, 2022? Sorry. Um, while Iceland is a top destination, COVID restrictions have been lifted. New airlines take to the sky. The summer of 2022 is shaping up to be an extraordinary time to visit Iceland. Altogether, some 25 airlines will offer direct flights to Iceland this summer compared with 15 over the past winter. All right. Um, oops, hold on. Let's see. Do, do, do. Which one are we going use for book kites? Okay. Play is Iceland's newest low cost airline based on international airports serving the capital, along with the flag carrier Iceland Air. The red aircrafts of Play will offer direct flights. Tiffany, we're going to look at that in a minute. Um, in Northern Iceland, another new airline will take to the sky in June. Nice Air is set to cover flights to and from London, Denmark, and Spain from its base in uh, Korea. Flying directly to the northern capital allows visitors eager to explore Iceland's nature to hit the ground running. See all flight options to Iceland here. Do, 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 do. Okay. All right, let me go back. What did I do? I clicked out of it, huh? All right, and then um, back in action, the scene at the annual Culture Night, summer 2022, also brings festive gathering that has been long awaited. After four years of waiting, the National Islamic Horse Competition will return. Okay, that was in July. Um, July's Outdoor Festival, so maybe for next year, August. Okay, go west, my friend. Winding roads, quiet traffic, make the West Fjords an ideal for cycling. Um, the region has developed new infrastructure that bring new possibilities for exploring the region. During the summer months, a nearly 1,000-kilometer circular road trip around the Fjords is completely open from its winter closures. Um, which, uh, West Fjords Way, as the road trip is coined, um, includes the newly open viewing platform of Balafjall Mountain, offering incredible views from 600 meters, 200 feet, atop a secure steel platform that extends over the Hornstrandir Nature Reserve. 
Um, the Lonely Planet Travel Guides had recognized the uniqueness and listed the region number one on the list for best travel in 2022. Dramatic landscapes come to a riveting climax uh, where mass tourism disappears. Um, only about 10% of Iceland visitors ever see the region, okay? Uh, Highlands roads open um, mid uh, open around mid-June. Summer is the time to visit Iceland's Highland region with roads in the area typically opening around late June. Route um, F35, known as Kajora, crosses the country via this and is accessible for longer than the challenging bit. Okay, so you have colorful landscapes, scheduled bus travel into the highlands are popular, and then just travel smart. Tourism back is um, bouncing back quickly after COVID shutdown, but is unlikely to reach previous heights um, this summer. That means visitors are still likely to enjoy tempered crowds, but much depend on the time of day. Visit Iceland recently introduced an online tracker that allows people to see the most visited hours of a given place and more popular golfless waterfall for example is most busy around 1 p.m and the month of august attracts the largest crowds all right planning a trip new destinations the lagoon in the forest the national horse competition and then the thing so we talked about the lagoon and that Look at the waterfall, isn't that beautiful? All right, has anybody gotten into, um, has anybody gotten into the test to see what the questions are so we can like all maybe take the test together? Yes. Yeah, and are they pretty easy? Do you wanna go through it? Does everybody <laughs> have the same, does everybody have the <laughs> same um, questions? I'm trying to look. So junk, that's Disney in my junk. All um, email. I didn't, I never got mine, it looks like. Iceland. What is the name oh, no. of the subject line for the test? Well, Marnie, what came across on mine was what I told you. Uh, It just says promote Iceland. If you'll give me a second, I can tell you it's going to come from this. So you put what to put in your search box. Thank you. I found mine in my junk email. Yeah. Who was it from? Yeah, I got an email from. It, it was the same subject line, promote Iceland. That Sam's, um, Sam's, 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 if that's how you pronounce it, Island. Yeah. Yeah, promote Island. Yep, I didn't, I didn't get it. So um, I don't know if anybody on here, um, you know, if we want to try to take the test together now or, um, I need to probably let somebody else share their screen because it doesn't look like I um, got it. I'm looking through all my emails. Do, do, do. I may have to just re redo it myself. So um, if somebody wants to share their screen, we can try to take the test together and see. Um, I can do Google searches while you guys are doing it to see if we get all the answers. Well, I was trying to answer this last one, and I was able to get a lot of these. I was trying to find a way to give you the answers that I've come up with. Um, yeah, I've been using the search function to get through most of the test. I'm only halfway, though. It actually has a manual in there. It's a lot of pages. Yeah, 78 pages. Reading through it. Oh so my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just using Surrey. Yeah, I got that. <laughs> Quicker. Yeah, promote Iceland, right? It's. Yeah. All right, Jeffrey, thank you. I'll go ahead and give you a. Uh, 
me put you as co-host. Do, do, do. All right. Yes. All right, I'm gonna let you share your screen and uh, let me stop my share. And if you can go ahead and share your screen, Jeffrey, and let's see if we can do the test together, guys. Um, again, I apologize. I don't know why mine's not, why I'm not finding mine. Do you have Gmail or uh, is it going to another one more? Yeah, I use Gmail. I use my Marnie at um, dot evolution usually when I do my um, when I do my registration. So I don't know why. And I I think I registered before I signed. You know, sent you guys the list for this um, training because I wanted to make sure that we could get into it. And. Uh, Refresh and try looking for promote Iceland. Do, 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 P R O M O T E. Did anybody take the test yet and have you passed? Did we go over everything? Promote, promote, promote. Rick, are you here? Did you turn down the jacuzzi? Thank you. Are we ready to go? Okay. I got my Peru confirmation, which was I think the same day, that was on the 30th. Ugh. Promote, promote. All right, Jeff. Jeffrey, did you share your screen? Are we in there? Let me check the 30th and see what comes up. Let's see, Peru, Atlantis. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Again, we want to make sure everybody passes the test, right? Double Iceland. All right, do you guys see Jeffrey's screen? Yes. Okay. How many um how many questions is the test? 20. 20. Okay. Cool. All right, let's do it. So, Jeffrey, do you want to read? Let me make this bigger so I, I can see. The, 80%. Yeah, the first one it asks what percentage of Iceland is uninhabited? It's 80%. 80. Yeah. Thank Earlier you. screen went away. Um, the second one, or the second question, it asks, what is the population of Iceland? It's 335,000. The third one, it says, Iceland's language, I'm sorry, the Icelandic language has changed comparatively little since the time of the settlement. That is true. Yeah. Do you agree? Thank you. <laughs> Any disagreements with that? Uh, which Icelandic author won the Nobel Prize in literature? I cannot say his name at yeah. all, but it's <laughs> Hal Halidor. Halidor, yeah. yeah. I got Halidor. Yeah. <laughs> it, what was the last name? L A X E E S S. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm laughing at you. I'm laughing with you because I couldn't. <laughs> believe it. That I, I'll just do this. That was his name. <laughs> <laughs> I think the Christmas was thirteen. Christmas yes, the, the number five. It says the uh, Christmas season has how many Yule Yule Uh, 
does Iceland have? It's 13. Uh, that one on the date of how you want to pronounce that Saint something mass is celebrated December the 23rd. Yep, I got that too. And which of the following foods is traditionally eaten? This uh, one I couldn't find. Actually, it, it's it's the rotten, rotten shark. shark. It's it, the shark? It is, oh, wow. Yeah, it's rotten shark because it's rotten shark, the goat head, and some other stuff that's been boiled. Ew, so, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's got all kinds of other loveliness. So because of that, <laughs> and the permanent settler I got in in Golor. I can put in it. I'll put, I'll put it in. They want us to put it in, into uh, chat. Give me just a moment, and I can come back and copy this for you guys. In Golfer is the male settler. Yes, that last name Arneson. Arneson, yeah. Thank yeah. You. Uh, number nine. When is Iceland's National Independence Day celebrated? June seventeenth. Mm -hmm. Make sure y'all pay attention on that one because they were real crafty with doing that. So it's June seventeenth. <laughs> yeah, they made it like the seventh of and seventeenth of June, and then they came back and had a July the seventeenth. And I was like, yeah, I had to go back and pay attention to that a second time to make sure I did it right. I almost marked the wrong one. <laughs> um, and which of the following is not an accurate statement about Iceland's weather and climate? That one kind of had me going back and forth what are the I'm options not. on their climate let's see it says that the winters are mild or, so are, are really I'm, mild. you guys are really go ahead please put the answers in the box the, 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 them? yeah in the chat box somebody got the chat box hold on let me see Boop, 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 boop. Everyone. All right. So the first one was 80%. You got it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you guys. Perfect. I was trying to figure out a way to put them in there and it wouldn't let me. <laughs> so I'm like, number 10. I can't figure that out either. I don't know. So the only thing that I could find on the weather, because it, it gave the answer of they want to know it was either winters, uh, what winter's temperature is relatively mild or give, given the latitude of the country. Uh, weather conditions tend to change suddenly or and unexpectedly. Summers are typ typically warm and the winters are extremely cold or the snow is uh, is commonplace but not guaranteed. I think it's D, right? Any place. Okay. I, which one were you thinking? D? Snow is a commonplace but not guaranteed? I don't know. <laughs> I, would say, I would say unexpected. Yeah, I don't uh, know. The only thing I could find on that one morning when I was looking for the, let me go back. Yeah. That's a tricky one. So when I was going through the. Yeah, un unpredictable. They That's what I thought. That they gave us. <laughs> um, let's see. I was able to find something that was saying that the, I think you're saying that the winters were mild, but long. And the summers were pretty much the weather pretty much stays the same. It only varies a little bit. Um, well, I thought everything. the I thought the video said that the weather was unpredictable with the. Um, the and that's why they. Jackets. Yeah, that's why that's they needed cool. layers because because um, it could be hot, could be cold. So dress in layers both summer and winter. I was thinking that, but I, that works for me. I was. <laughs> that's what I thought. So B's the answer, you think? B is what we're going with on weather. All right, A the answer. B is what we're going with. It's unpredictable. It's A or B. B. This is. Well, this was not I accurate. Wouldn't say it's a. Exactly. Yeah, this it's is not, not accurate. accurate. Yeah, you want. It looks like it's going to be C because you're looking for a false statement. Ah, thank you. They tease you. We got a smart cookie. That's why I got that one wrong. That's a good one. Thank you. We so definitely know that summer is a name of tension. <laughs> All right. That would, be, that would just be contradictory to what the video said because the video said it is unpredictable. Right. So 
if summers are warm and winters are cold, that's more predictable. So that would, yes, that's how I got that answer. That's, so. that's how I took it. So D. Cause I missed that. Thank you. <laughs> Yay. Was that D? Uh, C. C as in Charlie, it's hot, yeah. uh, uh, so we're going with the summers are temp typically warm. Okay. All right. Got it. Yes. All right. Congratulations. C teamwork, guys. Hey, it makes the dream work. Uh, <laughs> number 11. In which town does the ferry from Denmark arrive? Yeah, I can't pronounce that at all. So I'm with that it's one. It's letter D. It's letter D. Right. It's the S E Y something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just well, letter D. <laughs> they can't say that. Yeah. See, I wasn't for certain if everybody's numbers were going, letters were going to match. So I was like, yeah, not that one. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. all the same because I failed it the first time. What is the general speed limit in urban areas? That's 50. 50? Mm -hmm. What is the name of the official of the official quality and environmental accreditation system for Ireland? I'm sorry, Iceland. Iceland's tourism. It's Vacan. Not Vacan, C. C. C is in Charlie. V A C. Uh, v A C. V A V A K I N N. Yes. C. Something else. Number, Number 12 C. was A, right? 40? Yes. Uh, 50. B. Thank you. It's B as in 50. B for 50. 50. Okay. It's number 12. Well, I thank you guys. I appreciate this. 14, it says, uh, which of these is Iceland's currency? It's the Iceland Krona, which is A. What's the minimum drinking age in Iceland? 20, number 15 is 20, or C. What's the emergency phone number in Iceland? 112 or 112? See, Charlie. Sorry. I knew that one. <laughs> uh, 17 made me work for it. <laughs> but it, the answer is C. It's Smoky Inlet. I had to Google that one. Yeah. Google was calling it a Smoky Bay. I'm like, no, it's, 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 so I went back and looked for Smokey and found it. I was like, oh, okay, let's see. Bay Inlet, same thing. <laughs> um, 18 is B as in Bravo. Mm -hmm. I Google that one too. 19, oh, I, I figured that this one. one I couldn't get. Uh, if, it, yeah, 19 is D as in Delta. It's a hard, like, I knew that. Snaps? Okay, yeah. <laughs> It's a type of snap. <laughs> and 20, we were looking for what's not true. This is the one that I was going back on again, trying to find this one. So I could not figure this one out. Okay, let's Google it. I put B as I'm between B and, and B. B. Um, well, no, B and C. I don't know which one, but the other. A and D are correct. Well, we're looking for what's not correct. I just pulled that up. Give me just a second. Uh, because I Googled that, it, it said the 12th to the 15th century is when well, the sagas were written. On but page then, 11 of that document that it gave us, it says such combinations of stories and histories were mostly passed on orally until being written down in the 12th to 14th century. Okay, so then I think you see then. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it. Well, no, I thought the only thing had me going with that, that would that make sense. If it's C. The first people were Irish, the first settlers, but I think I, I thought they were mentioning, yeah, well, the first people were like Norse, so pagan, not so Christian. Those, oh, okay. it is definitely true. So that's out. So what had me? It is. And D is true. 
and B is true, so it has to be C. Yeah, and D is true as well. All right. Let's see if I got it right. C. So did everybody pass? We have to wait a couple of minutes to get the results. Which one is C? I know because I failed it the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I had to wait like a couple minutes. <laughs> See, that's why it's fun to do together, guys, because look at all you smart people on here helping us. <laughs> <laughs> we get the results in an email? Yes, I did. It tells you if you fail or pass. Thank um, you. The money is there. So thank you for the permission. You can now close the window. <laughs> I feel like the Jeopardy song is playing in my head. All right, guys, so says, while we're waiting, does anybody else have any questions on this? Um, did you learn anything new? And are you going to join me for Peru tomorrow? Hopefully yes. Peru will be easier because it's actually on a actual program. So, um, and then also we're going to hopefully do Bora Bora and Tahiti on Sunday. Um, you won't be there. Okay. Well, I will no, record I will. it. You will. Okay. Perfect. Tahiti uh, didn't like, um, approve me yet. I put it in like two, three days ago. Oh yeah. You should follow up or see, I know it took me about 24 hours. Mine was, I, um, I was just got mine yesterday. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I did but, go ahead the last time when we were originally scheduled to do it, I had signed up for it. They went they to went Vegas, Vegas when, um, our, our team went to Vegas as well for the convention. So that's one of the reasons why I think they told me that um, everything is kind of back backlog. So they're back in office today. Okay. 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 Got it. Hey, Marnie. Yes. Hi, Pat. Um, what time is what time is the Tahiti t on Sunday? Uh, we're going to do it at 9 a.m. Pacific, which is 11. That's both a Saturday and Sunday, 9 a.m. Pacific. I'm on Central Time now, so it's 11 for me. I'm and on I'm Eastern, on... so that would be 12. 12, right. So we're going to be doing um, tomorrow, Peru, Sunday, Tahiti, and then Tuesday, we're doing North Carolina. So again, um, make sure um, in the Facebook groups, um, you know, uh, the links are right there. Uh, so if you haven't signed up for the incentive voucher group, it's right there. Also, here is the spreadsheet with the links also. Um, so get in, pre-register, there you go. And, um, and then we'll, we'll be there for Peru tomorrow and again, um, that one's an actual program that we have, so we shouldn't have any problem getting into that. Let's go into it now. So that's OTT for tomorrow. Um, hold on. OTT travel. Let me, uh, what is it? Online travel. OTT. Let me pull it up. Uh, uh, uh. So Peru, Peru is tomorrow and right here. All right, we're gonna to go to home. Okay, what town does the ferry from Denmark arrive? That's that S E. Hold on, let me put it in. It said S E S E with that funny something. This whatever. <laughs> hold on, I'll post it. Thank you. All Where right, so. So here's the OTT. If you have it registered, get in and register. It's very easy. All right. Um, once you get registered, you can log in. And then, um, as I said, we're doing a uh, Peru. Okay. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, make sure you guys get in for that. Da -da -da. Okay. And uh, so you can like do a search on Peru and under here, like destinations, theme parks, et cetera. And again, you guys can do these all on your own or do them with us because as you see, thank goodness, we had some great um, 
agents on today now is Peru. Is that allowed? Um, you, you, yeah, you, United Kingdom. Hold on, let me go back. That may be the United Kingdom one. Is this United Kingdom? Yes. You so you have to change your flag, and make sure you go into the United Kingdom one. So right here, can you guys see my screen? You just click United Kingdom, and then you can do a search by um, Peru, okay? And then go in here to Peru if you haven't registered yet, and then it's right here, okay? Yeah, thank you, guys. You guys are amazing. I really appreciate your help. Um, again, I don't know why I didn't get my test. I feel bad. <laughs> so... Um, make sure you post, get on social media, let people know. So we're going to do Peru tomorrow. And it looks like it's one class. But again, once we do these classes, it turns out they end up giving you a specialist class too. And one, one of them, I think it was uh, Kenya. We did like the last one we did was three hours long. So you never know. Some of these can be 15 minutes. Some of them can be 10 hours, you know. So we just learn as we go. And that's why I add Sundays a lot of times to help out, okay? Um, but keep in mind for next month, what we're gonna do. Um, right now I have Spain, Trafalgar, World War II, travel, St. Lucia, Portugal, Canada, Native American travel. Oops, you guys don't need to see my, my medical stuff that we're working on. Um, New England and Bermuda. Okay, um, so what's that? Chapters in Adventures, is that a, oh, that's your email. Okay, perfect. All right, guys, so again, congratulations. Make sure you guys, um, you know, stay plugged in. Here is all the trainings. I will also be posting them on my YouTube channel. And then again, um, uh, you know, get an accountability partner, get a, um, you get in here and use our incentive vouchers. Uh, definitely stay plugged in. We have tons and tons of trainings, guys, for everybody. Um, Evolution Enterprises, I know Jody just did an amazing training today and she posted it um, on how to do a, a live quote right here. Travel quote using Google Docs and Travelify. Get in here and um, watch these trainings. Uh, if you can't make the live ones, watch the recorded ones. Um, to get an accountability partner, um, let me show you that. Um, I think, um, Courtney, I sent that to you at the very beginning, um, but I'm doing a training on it at, on next Thursday. But let me give you guys the link for it. And then that way you guys can... Um, get in and uh, fill it out. And then I match people up at the end of the month. And it's for people to, um, besides having your sponsor, hi there, I'll call you right back. I'm getting off training. Okay, love, you, love you, bye. All right, so um, it's a way besides your sponsor to have two or three other people within your team or with not within your team, but within the um, company to, to match or to, um, connect with okay um sorry i can't think and type at the same time uh, so what it is is i match you up with two or three other people within your area and then you can do farmers markets together you guys can do trainings together um you guys can you know um like one team or one one of your accountability partners may be doing um, daily commissions and you're like I didn't even know about that you know and she'll teach you that and then you'll maybe do in the vouchers and you guys oh I didn't know about that so again you guys share ideas you reach goals hey let's get together and and finish Disney training let's get our free Disney passes so here's the form to fill out for that and again um, I'm doing a training on it next Thursday if you want to join me for that okay um, it's just, a, again, a great way to help you um, and reach out and get to know other agents, especially within your own area. Okay. All right. So there's the link for that. If you want to fill that out um, again, it's a great program that we have. Um, the incentive voucher is a great program that we have. And the main thing is stay plugged in, keep learning, keep asking questions. You're not going to get rich quick. Okay. 
Um, we got paid residuals today, guys. Um, you only need six business partners in mentorship program. Six business partners in your team will bring you enough money to cover your monthly. What I try to tell my new agents, you know, share with your family and friends if you want. You guys all get free Disney passes, free uh, universal, stuff like that. And then um, you bring six people in, that's going to give you enough residual income to cover your monthly bill, okay, your, your, your business expense. You still get to write it off. Um, but now you don't have that added expense. You have that residual income coming in every month paying that, okay? So just an idea, suggestion. Again, um, the mentorship program is totally optional because we are first and foremost travel agents, but I just wanted to share because you may have seen people, we, we got paid today. Um, you get paid once a month on the residual income part, and um, it is a great way to make extra money besides the commissions, okay? So keep that in mind. If you're interested in that, reach out to your mentor, get added to that group because it is a separate group. It is um, a promotion. Okay, you got a second test, so there's another test after the first one. Also, whoever passed the test, did you guys get a certificate? I didn't get a certificate. They just sent the second part of the test saying that I, um, congratulations on the first test, but it says that you have 20 days to complete this second test. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. So again, you know, you never know what you can win when they're sending those out, right? So hey, you might I'll as well get try. Started and uh, Marnie, can I have your email address again, please? Yeah, my email is Marnie, M-A-R-N-I dot evolution at Gmail. That's my email. And then my uh, phone number, just in case anybody needs me, is, I'm putting in the chat, 702-232-5499. And uh, you guys can reach out to me anytime. Again, if I don't get back to you right away, please Contact me again because I, I get tons of messages just like now I've gotten 10 while I've been on this training and I need to get back to them. So if I don't get back to you, make sure you reach out again. So, you know, keep keep contacting me. OK, you're not bugging me. I want to help you guys. I just sometimes I get too much stuff going on and then I miss it. OK, I'm not ignoring you, though. OK. All right, does anybody have anything else? Again, I appreciate you guys jumping on with me. And again, thank you for you guys for helping. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I will make sure for, you know, I, I make sure I get all my, um, you know, registration <laughs> complete so I don't miss out again, okay? I have to now figure out why I didn't get the test. Um, but maybe when we get on one of these other ones and we're all on again, we can take the second test together, okay? So have, have a question uh -huh. about the incentive vouchers. Okay. Uh, so I took the training yesterday. Um, in there, you said that they that you could use them unlimited, but you could only use um, you could only use them once. So is that like I could use the same voucher for multiple people, but I could only use like one per client? Correct. No, just just okay. Let's say you have you know Kelly that books with you all the time. You gave Kelly a seven day uh, resort stay, okay? You cannot give Kelly another seven day resort stay for 12 to 24 months, but you can give Kelly next month a four night cruise. Gotcha. And then you can okay. give Kelly the next month a air and hotel to Vegas or whatever, air, uh, air and hotel package the or the four night to Vegas. So okay, yeah, yeah the same voucher can't be used for the same person within 12 month period. Okay, that's what I wanted to make sure. But I could use that voucher on another client as well though. Correct. Okay. So you can okay. like like when we talk about the farmers market, um, you have them drop in their um their uh, business card or, or you have them fill out a thing. I'm interested in learning how to make money and travel or I'm interested in a trip and then um, enter to win a seven night resort stay. So they all drop it in there and then you call each one. Hey, Alexandra, nice seeing you at the farmer's market today. You entered to win the seven night resort stay. Congratulations, you won. You also wanted to know about travel. 
Wonderful. We'll, um, we have a live webinar starting in about 20 minutes. Let me send you that because I'm doing a group cruise right now. Um, and then, you know, congratulations. Then you call up Jamaica. Jamaica, great seeing you at the farmer's market today. You went to win the seven night cruise or seven night resort. Congratulations. You won. You wanted a trip to Disney. We have Perfect. amazing deals right now. So again, you make them feel special, but in fact, all of them have won. You could have had hundred right. people. Yep. I just wanted well, to make sure that I was following the rules. <laughs> perfect. Thank you. I appreciate that because a lot of people don't treat, do the training and just try to wing it. And then they keep asking. It's like, you know, it's all right there. So yeah, I appreciate that. So thank you. Anybody else have any questions, concerns? Are you guys excited? And uh, again, you know, Let's just have fun. Also, we're starting to do um, the schedule for next month. If you guys have any um, trainings that you want to do or that you want to see, let us know. Um, you know, I always, we're just agents, all just like you guys. So we just volunteer our time. But if you have something that you can bring to the table, you're good at, you know, quotes or you're good at doing flyers or or promotions, you know, let us know and we can put you on the calendar because, again, we all want to help each other. OK. All right. Anybody else? Otherwise, I'm going to head um, out. And, uh -huh. Yeah, I just have a quick question. I'm signing up for the OTT. OK. Um, like registering. Uh, do I need to put the agency ID in there? Yeah, yes. you always want to put the agency ID for Archer, and that's okay. 0582 Um, and then you'll put your information for the actual, um, you know, address and stuff. Okay, okay. And then for the name of the organization, we just put Archer? Yes, it should okay. pull up. A lot of times it will pull up once you put that I ITAN number in. Okay, okay, and that's the 0582 Okay. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Anybody else? No, no, no. All right. We will see you at the beaches of the world or at the bank. That's where I'm headed. So have a great day, guys. I'll see you uh, tomorrow for Peru. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye, guys.